the Islamic respect for water and the ingenuity of Muslim engineers enabled Islamic society to flourish in desert and semi-desert regions. At the height of the golden age of Islamic science during the 10th century, over 500,000 people lived in the largest Muslim cities, while only 10,000 people lived in the largest Western cities at that time. Muslim engineers studied and built on the water technologies of the Phoenicians, Romans, Greeks and Egyptians. They used an Egyptian device called the Nilometer to accurately measure the height of the Nile and adopted the principles of Persian water systems in one of their most impressive engineering feats, the Kanat system. The Kanat was a sophisticated underground water supply system punctuated at close intervals on the surface by wells. Its carefully calculated connections and inclinations ensured the effective flow and ongoing supply of water to entire cities. Keeping water underground also meant that evaporation was minimized in the harsh desert environment. Another water engineering device that Muslim engineers improved was the Noria wheel. This giant water wheel scooped up water from the river and poured it into a water supply system for agricultural and domestic use, as well as for fountains, drinking troughs and public bathhouses. Norias also turned giant grinding machines and water pumps. Water was also essential to service the Islamic emphasis on cleanliness, health and hygiene. Public baths or hammams played an important role in this regard. In larger cities, the hammams incorporated beautiful fountains, decorative pools, saunas and steam baths. In regions where rainfall was minimal, it was essential to store water for use over long periods of time. To achieve this, Muslim engineers used sophisticated land surveying methods and instruments to build long-lasting dams and reservoirs. Eight dams built in the 10th century along the Turia River in Spain still meet the irrigation needs of Valencia ten centuries later, and a third of all dams built by Islamic engineers still stand today. The men responsible for these engineering marvels were some of the greatest minds of their time, and their contributions to engineering and society continue to be of benefit today. The three Banu Musa brothers, Abu Jafar, Muhammad, Ahmed and Al-Hassan, were respected scholars from Baghdad's famous House of Wisdom in the 9th century. They wrote many influential books on mathematics, geometry and engineering. They were also great fountain makers and designed fountains that continuously changed their shape by employing devices such as worm gears and a clever hollow navel valve. The use of a worm gear and wheel to transmit motion from flowing water to a revolving pipe was a major technological advance in control systems engineering that was later used in automatic machines during the Industrial Revolution. Al Jazari, born in 12th century Turkey, was an exceptional engineer who created many awe-inspiring automatic machines, which he documented in the Book of Knowledge of Ingenious Mechanical Devices. One of these machines was a revolutionary pump system used to lift water for irrigation and drinking. Al Jazari's pump employed cogwheels, copper pistons, suction and delivery pipes, a crankshaft and one-way clack valves and was able to lift water to a height of 12 meters into a supply system. The pistons were driven by a water wheel using cogs and a crankshaft to convert the circular motion of the wheel into the linear motion required to make the pistons function. The pistons sucked water up into an outlet pipe and pumped it out into the supply system. Another fascinating invention of Al Jazari's was the wudu machine. Wudu is the ritual of washing oneself before prayer. Al Jazari designed a mobile wudu machine that could be brought before guests. It looked like a peacock on a tray and would give off eight short spurts of water to allow a guest to wash themselves. Taki al-Din, born in 16th century Turkey, was a great polymath 
and was hailed by his contemporaries in the Ottoman Empire as one of the greatest scientists of all time. He wrote many books and invented a revolutionary six-cylinder water pump called a monoblock pump. The six-cylinder pump had a camshaft attached to a water wheel. The rotating wheel drove the camshaft, which in turn pushed a set of connecting rods. These connecting rods pivoted at their center, and the downward movement at the one end lifted up a piston with a lead weight on the other end. After the camshaft had completed its cycle, the piston was forced down again by its lead weight. This motion forced water up a delivery pipe and into a water supply system. These great Muslim engineers were some of the many contributors to the magnificent water supply systems, dams and canals that still function today, to the innovative water-powered machines that were the precursors to the machines that spurred the Industrial Revolution in the West, and to the awesome inventions that inspired scientists and engineers for centuries to follow.